Um, it's a great honour to be here with you today at the opening of our 2014 National Health Conference. Hundreds of delegates in the hall assembled here from all parts of the United Kingdom, from Northern Ireland, from Scotland, Wales, the regions of England, and we're here today at the heart of our union, a union which is united, united in defence of our National Health Service, with a clear message to the Tories, we are here to defend our NHS. George Osborne says you should all be feeling good. The, uh, he's declared that we've all turned the corner. No more recession. Great, you may say, great. Well, it's for his friends. His rich and powerful may have turned the corner, but try telling that to our people. Still paying for a deficit that none of them caused, still paying with their jobs, struggling with plummeting pay, rocketing prices, pay packets which have shrunk by an average of nearly £3,000 a year since 2010. And the only thing our people have to look forward to, providing our public services, our health service, is frozen increments. 1% increases if you're lucky, but definitely not on your pensions. Another three years of a pay freeze, as they will come back year after year for more. Why stump up the cash to pay staff a decent wage when you could waste it on more pointless top-down reorganisations? Millions would be lifted by a Labour promise to do something about the five million people in Britain earning less than the living wage. Millions would be lifted by a promise by Labour to really make work pay, by targeting unscrupulous employers who pay poverty wages. And what's more, when we take action to defend our pay, we expect our Labour Party to be standing shoulder to shoulder with us, not griping in the background. And I think from today, from this week, we march forward, we agitate, we stand up for a national health service, we stand up for pay, and if we do move to industrial action, which I do support, we will win. Thank you.